Testing, one, two, one, two. When I was a child, my mom used to make pasta, but she never made it with brie cheese. And ever since I've discovered that I could do that, I've been obsessed with doing it. When I was a kid, my mom used to make me eat anything she made. There was not one thing that I could say no to. Now that I think of it, it was kind of frustrating because there's a lot of things I don't like to eat. I don't like the taste of them or the texture. And that's not something I can control. Being afraid of telling your parents that you don't want something could give you some problems when you become an adult because when you get older, you don't want to confront people or you don't want to say no to them because you don't want to disappoint them. After many years of people pleasing, I realized and had to relearn that it is okay to say no and it is okay to say no because I don't want to. I often observe other people saying no and then creating an excuse for the reason that they're saying no instead of just saying, hey, I just don't want to do that, so I'm not going to do it whether you like it or not. It's just I don't want to, so that's what it is. It took me a long time to unlearn this bad habit because it is a bad habit. And the way things are with society and how life is, people just cannot accept that you just don't want to do something or say something or be fake. Sometimes we don't want to be a people pleaser. Aside from saying no, and yes to the things that you want to accept in your life and your energy you also have to be okay with other people rejecting you i can't say that it is going to be the same thing for everyone but we have to kind of sit with ourselves and contemplate what is it that we want to do and i celebrate being able to say yes to the good things that you love Hello. I want to celebrate saying yes to positive activities, being around good people that bring up your spirits, celebrating people who love you, celebrating other people's successes, other people's triumphs, not just your own, because sometimes we could be selfish, but sometimes we don't have to really be selfish. We could celebrate everyone because at the end of the day, humans are connected. We're peeing together on the toilet. <laughs> I'm always up for celebrating my friends' journeys through their health, their mental health, their fitness journeys, their new price possessions that they've acquired, new homes, new cars, new anything, any achievements in college, or anything that they have acquired throughout the years that I've watched them grow. Marriages, engagements, divorces. Of course, we celebrate divorces too because divorces are for people who were not happy in a situation that they could have avoided if they saw red flags. So definitely if you got a divorce, I'm happy for you. I went to check out my friend's ranch the other day to help her paint one of the rooms and I found this beautiful walk around the property and it just blew my mind how beautiful this place was and how peaceful. I wanted to do it alone so it was really a good time to just celebrate myself and be with me because sometimes you don't have to be with a crowd all the time. 
it's a peaceful and beautiful thing to be able to be with yourself. This week, I also celebrated Earth Day by myself. I didn't go where I wanted to go this week. I was actually supposed to be in another country, but that did not happen. So I went out for a walk to explore what Earth Fest was, and it was so beautiful. I was able to check out the beautiful flower gardens and smell the roses. It was such a beautiful experience to hear musicians in the street and to explore the flower garden to see all of the different types of flowers. And I love that experience because you never get enough of flowers and the people were actually very nice who were exploring the area too and i jumped for joy like that sign said i hope you got up and smelled the flowers just like me on this beautiful earth day and i hope to see you in my next video bye